if you don't know where you're going, it's hard to tell if you're succeeding. It is only in knowing that end that we can then reflect on where we are and if we're succeeding in building that young man that we want to see graduate in four years here. I think what happens when you invite God into your plans is he helps whatever you bring to him grow exponentially. So the Lord pours himself into the work that we bring him and even though our work is not sufficient for fulfilling the deepest needs of all of our students, uh, the Lord's work is and, and so he can do that through us. I went to a Jesuit high school and a Jesuit college and, and, and I know that you know, just having these Jesuits there as mentors is an amazing resource for the kids. They treated you like an adult and they really made you think deeply about things. And you can't put a price on how that sort of cracks open a young guy, right, and makes him restless and yearn for something more than superficiality as he grows up. We believe that Strike's making great progress on a strategic vision. Uh, we love it when our son Gabriel comes home and he talks about what he's learning in theology class, um, about going to Mass you know, frequently during school, as well as on game days for football, having Mass before the game. So we think those are all fantastic things that tie to the strategic vision. We believe in the, in the vision and the work that you do here. And when our son first came here, I used to say, I wish I had 10 more boys to send here. Now, thankfully, our two grandsons are here, and it has already made a difference in their lives. The mission is who we are at Jesuit. There's no strict Jesuit apart from the mission of creating men for others. And that's what I'm most proud of, us continuing to live into this mission and not just being like every other private school in the city, you know, but a, a place that's unique, a place that's special. Student-centeredness is really oriented towards developing men for others, all of which is rooted in our Jesuit and Catholic identity. I don't know that you could call a school truly Catholic unless it was accessible to everybody. And unless we taught these young men to be outwardly oriented toward the other instead of themselves. I think the four areas of the strategic vision are taking shape as you walk around campus and you see not just the buildings that we are constructing for the continued education and forming of our young men, but in each and every student that you see walking along these buildings. It feels amazing every time I drive by campus and see the progress being made on the building. When I found out it was gonna be ready in January, I was very excited. It's also very exciting for us to know that the projects that are going on would allow the straight Jesuit community to service more people in our uh, Houston community, both the individuals and their families, and hopefully it allows more people to get to experience all the great things that, that we and our son Gabe have gotten to experience here at Straight Jesuit. When I was a student here, I was one of very few public school students. That was 10 years ago. A lot has changed now. One of the things that I was most proud of is coming here and seeing that there's a lot more students of other ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds here now. And I think that's great. I think that makes Jesuit a place that is more welcoming, more hospitable for all, no matter what walks of life that they come from, but a place where everyone can come here to Strake Jesuit and thrive no matter their background. To be a part of Strike Jesuit is to be a part of family. It gets bigger, but you still, when you come back here, people know you and you feel at home. That's true. Yeah. It's a place that I care about, and when you have that kind of a connection, and I'm not the only one that feels like this, there's a whole group of parents who send their kids here every year that feel the same way. I mean, the growth that is going to transform this place in the years to come, it's, it's inevitable. Faculty and staff are able to give and be the hands and feet of Christ for those at the school. As a result of the hands and feet of Christ's generosity of those who give to this community, who will allow us to do this, who, who fund things that, that allow us to have these buildings, have these programs, all in the service of that student-centered mission of developing men for others so that they can be the hands and feet of Christ when they go out in the world. I think anybody wants to be a part of a success story. And I think Strake Jesuit is probably the gold standard for success stories here in Houston. And I think it's also neat to walk around the campus and know that we had something to do with this. 
Yeah. We're proud of that too. That's true. When we look around the campus and see the high quality facilities the school has, but more importantly, when we get to meet you know, coaches, teachers, others in the administration and see the high quality of the individuals that are helping educate our son and others, we're very, very impressed with that. So that you know, leads us to conclude that the Strake Jesuit has been a very good steward. Rick and I are honored to contribute to Strake Jesuit and its mission. We value what this school has provided us and my husband values how it shaped him during his formation while on campus. And so we feel that it's not only our responsibility, but it's our privilege to be able to give back. Contributing to Strake not only is beneficial to our son and the kids in the school right now, but um, future generations. And we're excited about the fact that Strake Jesuit is continuing to try to expand itself and grow and it feels really good to be a part of helping the future generations and, uh, and those future generations are going to help us too. I am excited mostly about the stories that will come out of this school in the next hundred years. We're building something so wonderful here.